Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today on The Kitchen Table we're going to be talking IMU. What is it, what does it do, and why might you want to calibrate it, and how do you go about that? But before we do that, as is very much the tradition on this channel, being on The Kitchen Table, we always discuss our multi-rotors with a beverage of choice. Um, today it's this um, very nice, so if you can see that there, Star and Vine Shiraz from California. I understand you may have had some slightly inclement weather, so, um, you know, uh, I hope you're all okay, and cheers. Mm. That really is very good. So, IMU, what is it? Um, I've had lots of requests for um, people wanting to know more about IMU calibration and, and what it's all about, and uh, people do seem to sort of put on the forums and general advice oh yeah just recalibrate your rmu that'll sort it all out without kind of explaining why and maybe why not why it doesn't work so i thought we'd do that briefly so imu let's start with um usually stands for inertial measurement unit i have seen it referred to as the inertial management unit which is probably not quite strictly correct although it could be in this case because it's all part of the flight controller. And basically in your Phantom, in your any of your Phantoms, any multi-rotor really, um, the IMU handles all the measuring of the attitude of your aircraft. So at any one point, a set of solid state gyroscopes and accelerometers are monitoring whether or not the aircraft is tipping away from center. And that means it can feed back to the uh, to the to the flight controller, which can quickly do all the calculations to work out if it needs to input some more power or less power into the relevant rotor and motor combo to put things back on an even keel. Um, and to do that, it needs to obviously know what level looks like. Now, when you're flying, uh, uh, you know, along, the GPS can be used as well, so that the, the, the aircraft knows where it's going. But in the hover, it kind of needs to know pretty soon if it's going to wander away from that flat direction. And it's making lots of little calculations all the time. Very clever, very cool. Um, but sometimes it might need to be re-educated. And that's what calibrating the IMU does. Um, now, in the Phantom... Vision Plus, Vision, and if you've got a P2 with a, a, a gimbal on it, the IMU system also impacts on what the gimbal sees as straight and level. So you might find that this is something to try if you're noticing that your gimbal is not kind of holding horizontal. Um, the, it could well be that there's just enough of an offset on the IMU to, uh, to, to make the gimbal show um, uh, an off, a lean to one side, for example, but not enough that the aircraft can't can't adjust for that in the hover. So if you've got an aircraft that isn't flying as true as you would like it to be, or you've got a gimbal that's not quite holding things on a level, then it could be that you need to recalibrate the IMU. And you do that fairly straightforwardly using the Phantom Assistant software. So let's just go and have a look at that now. So here we are in the Assistant, plugged into the aircraft, everything is going. And what we want to do is come up here to the top and what we're looking for is here the Tools menu. Click on that and then the first thing you should see is IMU calibration and some readouts from the gyroscope and the accelerometer and the compass. Uh, various uh, things parameters if you hold over the question mark you'll see where the mod value should be if you've got a way out of kilter one then it's definitely time to do a recalibration uh, but sometimes it, it, it you know everything looks fine it still needs it down here you've got two options basic and advanced and it says check status click that then it says no need mine has always said no need even at times when it did need it so if you want to perform a basic calibration it's literally as simple as clicking that button you get a little warning to say please keep everything level and it will run through a very very quick kind of very fundamental this is what horizontal looks like here's where down and up is you get a green tick and it's done go and give it a test flight see if that works now if it doesn't or if you if you need to because of your mod values do an, an advanced cal calibration 
then you'll get some more dire warnings that because this takes a lot longer, you really need to put this on a, on a level surface away from vibration and leave it. And then it double checks that you've read that. And then it will churn away. Um, now, my I aborted mine earlier um, um, because it, you will sometimes get an error which throws up when you do an advanced calibration. Sometimes the basic that says, oh, the, the, uh, the, the flight controller is, is too hot. Cool it down. This can sometimes happen when you've just switched it on. It obviously isn't too hot at all. Um, it's a known bug that somehow still hasn't been fixed in the assistant. If you just click through it and ignore it, it will allow you to do the calibration. Um, I have heard of people, you know, trying to bless them, leave it, leave it overnight, put it in the fridge. It's a bug. Just, just ignore the thing. Um, and that's it, really. So that's when you might want to do an IMU recalibration. Certainly, I would suggest uh, if you've had a bit of an impact. If you've had a bit of a prang, a bit of a crash, hit a tree hard, come down hard, it's probably worth going back to base and running at least a basic calibration and just giving everything a, a picture of what normal should look like again. Um, however, if everything's flying fine, then really there's no need to routinely calibrate. I hope that's answered a few questions. Um, th that's about as in-depth as my knowledge goes as to how, actually how the IMU works. Um, uh, I suspect if I knew a lot more than that, I probably you know, would be on the other side of the fence designing the things rather than just occasionally rambling on about them. Uh, so many thanks for your time. I hope that was useful to some of you that asked for it. And uh, we'll see you again soon back on the kitchen table. In, uh, until then, cheers.